if you see the way it is actually positioned, just now I mentioned about being non planner Yeah. So in Amadasin, the the shape, you see this uh, chlorobenzene ring, ponophenol ring actually. Yeah. It needs to be in a cis form with the methoxy group or this end of the structure. This is the active or the preferred conformation. If it, it is in this way, meaning that it's trans, uh, it won't be active. Okay. Uh, okay, let's move on to this uh, ibuprofenac. Used to be an analgesic, used to be an anti-inflammatory. Yeah, um, very good lead molecule, four times better than aspirin. Okay, it's marketed by Boots. Yeah, but ibuprofenac has got some problems, especially with um, children taking it. It causes jaundice. Yeah? So, so there's no point if you actually pain and you add more pain. <laughs> you know? There's no point. So they have to take it out from the market. And Boots at that time in 1970s, they were looking for what would be a good NSA. Yeah, they, the whole world, or maybe I would say the pharma companies, are moving away from the steroids. Yeah? So they're looking for the best non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agent. Yeah. Um, so they they playing around. I'm gonna just quickly go through these slides. They playing around, and what they found is that this particular structure. Yeah. Again, you see the acid there, reoccurring. Methyl group, OH group. Yeah. Oh, so oh, oh, um, oxygen here. Is they found that this is more potent than aspirin. Yeah. But they actually they add in another uh, ring there to mimic the arachidonic acid, for example, it loses the potency. So it doesn't work for this one, the structure. Yeah. So what they found is that, so they found the formula, they found the, the framework already now. That if you have and aryl uh, acid, yeah, uh, you, the acid's there. Then you have a substitution at alpha to the carboxylic acid. That gives a really good analgesic property. Yeah. So this is how they discovered um, ibuprofen. Okay. Ibuprofen has got this. Methyl group alpha to the carboxylic acid, yeah, aromatic ring to mimic the arachidonic acid substrate, yeah, and also at the end is this um, isopropyl group, yeah. So very very good alternative to ibuprofenac, um, very safe. You can actually use it by uh, children can even use it as well. Um, it's a good alternative to aspirin at that time, okay. So the SAR would be, um, again, you can put a metal group. Okay, actually increase with the increase of um, the um, alkylation, then it will also increase the potency a little bit. Yeah, This ring is optimal. Keep it that way. Don't have to change anymore. Um, if N is any, basically this is more than three, longer, if for longer chain, the potency drips. Basically it needs to be, this is the, the most optimal position. And also, if you increase the potency, they also increase the activity as well. Yeah. And usually it is actually administered as a restimate, because the R, the R configuration will be uh, change to an S isomer yeah, in vivo. Okay. A second derivative, this is also popular if you actually work as a pharmacist. Anyone here has actually worked in a pharmacy before? 
during your holidays? Yes? Oh, good. Okay. Hospitals? Get a chance? This is one of the fast moving. Uh, uh, ibuprofen in Malaysia not so good, I think, compared to aspirin, maybe compared to uh, Ponston. Um, especially more popular in um, the States and also the, uh, in the UK. But somehow naproxen actually is quite a favorite uh, NSAID for doctors, by, by doctors. Yeah? Um, similar again, yeah, you see that part, the alpha metal um, uh, group next to a carboxylic acid. Okay? So basically you need to retain this activity. Can still retain if you actually change that to an O uh, methyl or perhaps also uh, sorry aldehyde as well or alcohol. Yeah. Um, somehow this part of the molecule um, is, if you retain it as it is, is very potent. It's already very potent. You need to change the whole structure. Yeah. Keep it that way. This bit, this bit of molecule needs to be small, the phenyl group. To help in terms of the penetration, yeah. Um, the most optimal so far they found is actually the methoxy group, okay, CH3O.